international confirmed uh, dead and next of kin have been informed. Uh, we're in touch with the Kenyan authorities, in close contact with the Kenyan authorities. We stand ready to provide them with any additional assistance they require. Uh, we'll be monitoring the situation throughout the day and the Prime Minister uh, is returning to London to chair a further COBRA meeting later this afternoon. The attack began at midday on Saturday at Nairobi's upmarket Westgate shopping centre. It's a multi-storey complex, one of the newest in East Africa and popular with both Kenyans and expatriates. The attackers, numbering between 10 and 15 people, sprayed machine gun fire and threw grenades. They appeared to target non-Muslims, even shooting small children. That's Haram. You can see the Nakumat supermarket, which is located over the first two floors. And after more than 48 hours, the attackers and an unknown number of hostages are still thought to be holed up there. It took the Kenyan authorities nearly 30 minutes to arrive on the scene, but they have since managed to extract most of those inside. Alongside private security guards on the scene, Israeli advisers are believed to be working closely with the Kenyans. Britain already has forces in the country and has offered help, but it's not clear if that will mean military assistance. Let's not forget, this is a Kenyan operation. Our soldiers and our advisers will be advising them. They will not be at the front of this. The group that launched the attack is Somalia's Al-Shabaab militants. They are a banned insurgent group linked to Al-Qaeda. Numbering only a few thousand and with a shrinking power base, they've carried out numerous attacks both inside Somalia and in Kenya and Uganda. They've been making frequent media statements ever since the siege began. There are some rumors spreading around uh, that I've been reading that say that there were American, British and, and, and other this whole grisly standoff is painfully reminiscent of the Mumbai siege of 2008. Counterterrorism officials around the world always feared it would be repeated. Now it has been. Frank Gardner, BBC News.